one year, it's Indonesia, it's the Philippines, it's Thailand. So North Asia, we've always had a news gathering presence uh, in Hong Kong, in Tokyo, uh, but we've decided now it's time not just to commit to the market by doing events and, and of course having more outreach with our readership, uh, but also from a news gathering point of view as well. So how you define the trend when so many print media and magazines are struggling? You know, consumers like products and they like to be seen with products, whether it's the right suitcase, whether it's the right eyewear, whether it's the right bag. They also want to be associated with the right media as well. And you don't get that association if it's just on a mobile phone. It just says you're a Samsung user or you're a Blackberry user or you're an Apple user. Put a magazine or a newspaper under your arm, it says, I'm a Wall Street Journal reader, I'm an FT reader, I'm an Economist or Monocle reader, and it defines you in a very different way. And, and it defines you intellectually as well. In many ways, sort of reflects the same way as the handbag uh, or the briefcase that someone might want to purchase as well. Where do you see the future of print media going? I think we're in a very interesting time in print. We talk about a great settle down that's happening right now. We're seeing a migration back to print. Some brands from an advertising point of view want to be outside, some want to be on television. Uh, and so there's a greater redistribution, not in all sectors, not all corners of the world, but certainly at the top end of the market where we play. Do you ever see a digital version of Monocle? We've been living with tablets for a while. Some people like them. Uh, but it still seems that most people like the, the crunch and the, and the flick of paper. So for us, we haven't seen it as a, as a business model. Digital in general, I mean, moving away from just trying to read a, a magazine on a tablet is something different. So there we've launched a 24-hour radio station. We have a, a very strong e-commerce business that, of course, complements our stores around the world. So for us, for example, our, our major content play, if you will, has been both audio and video. In terms of your expansion in Asia, how are you going to deal with censorship in this region? We haven't had a situation yet in the region where that's occurred. We've certainly had trouble um, in the Middle East and either sometimes we have pages uh, ripped out of the magazine, sometimes we have, which is extraordinary that you have 